The following video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Visit yellowjacket.com to find out why Yellow Jacket is the industry standard in refrigerant hoses, tools, manifolds, and vacuum pumps, and many other tools. All right, guys, obviously you can see I'm changing a condenser fan motor on a little Bryant unit. Looks like it's got a Bristol recip in it. Fan motor's bad. So we're gonna swap her out. I've already measured the blade from the shroud. Not saying that the last guy did that, but I'm gonna go with it. I have a puller, but most of the time, if you can, if I can get this loose with one hand. All right, you get your set screw loose and tap it down a little bit. Although there's not much room to tap down on this one. I got it sitting pretty close. All right, we got it to move a little bit. So what we'll do is, is, I can't do it with one hand, but we're gonna take a piece of sandpaper here, sand the shaft, and then spray it with some WD-40, and it should come right off. All right, we got all the heavy stuff off. Spray this with some WD-40. Let it sit for a minute. And hopefully she'll come off. Sometimes you gotta take your crescent wrench and hold the blade and give it a spin, but I wish I could get you better footage, but I can't do it with one hand. So I'll let that sit for a minute and get that blade off of there. Okay, we got the blade off. No issues at all. Came right off. So now we'll unbolt the motor and bolt the new motor in place. And then we'll set it back on top and fire it up. All right guys, here's the new motor. These are my favorite motors. It's the Century, which is it's A.O. Smith, same thing. It's a multi-horsepower. There's your information. Really good motors. I know this one failed, but you know, I mean, it happens. The, it looks like the bearings went out. All right, so you wanna make sure you remove your drain plug. I can do it with my finger. If not, I'll get my knife and get it out of there. All right, I'll get it out of there. This is where the blade is going, so you got to break these off. I can't do none of this with one hand, so. All right, so we're going to remove the drain plug. We're going to break these studs off, and we're going to mount the motor to the to the top, and uh, then we'll be good to go.
make a nut driver for this. And I have one somewhere. I just don't know where it's at at the moment. If I can't find it, I'm gonna purchase me another one because these are a pain in the ass. Or doing it like this is a pain in the ass. It's, uh, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, I guess, but the nut driver makes it a lot easier. It's a green nut driver. I think it's, uh, I think it's an 11:32nd, if I'm not mistaken. I could just go get a socket off the truck too, but this is fine. I can get them tight like this. Some of them you can't get your crescent wrench on, and if I couldn't, I would simply go get a socket. So you can either use a socket or you can go buy the green nut driver. Your local supply house should have it. motor sitting on wires are pulled through we're gonna replace the capacitor meter's already out, so we'll give it a check. 7.5. The motors don't come with uh, stay cons or terminals, whatever you want to call them, so I'm adding them. The capacitor wires come with them, but the, the two powers, uh, legs of power don't. There's our 
there's one go right here on this side of the contactor. Just like so. Same thing here. hit the disconnect make sure it spins the right way and everything's good I got it in the same rotation as the old motor plus I'm, I was able to tell by the blade that this is a clockwise so I have it set for clockwise I'm just gonna hit the disconnect make sure it spins the right way then I'm gonna put the screws in and I'm gonna clean up all these wires all right I got everything together I got the reversing leads under the conduit so they don't stick out I got the wires all cleaned up. We're gonna hit this disconnect right here. Just a noisy little unit. It's spinning the right way. All right, guys, I stuck some rubber tech under the unit, try to quiet it down a little bit. She's good to go. Back online. Thanks for watching. See y'all on the next one.